Good morning to all traders and welcome to this Thursday's market size video provided to you by Obex Tavros Issues here. It is the 26th of March. We're going to talk about FX metals and energies that includes oil, gas, gold, and silver. Uh, we've had some good news on the. Uh, let's take the fundamentals first. The uh, U.S. Senate approved the two trillion stimulus deal, okay, to fight the coronavirus, which is good news for the uh, for the people mainly and also for businesses. However, a lot of businesses in the U.S. are still under threat, specifically the ones uh, the U.S. shell produces, because, uh, of course, the price of oil remain low, and Saudi Arabia doesn't really seem keen in uh, stopping this price war anytime soon. Uh, now, gold, on the other side, has been moving to the upside over the past few days. Now, there is, of course, uh, the intervention by the Federal Reserve that has helped that uh, to happen. The other thing is that interest rates have almost reached zero now. So, uh, I mean, uh, staying there for a while uh, should rise the, um, the price in the short term. But f uh, fears of a deflation now are becoming real with investors really looking uh, concerned. Now, on the other side, we've seen also this uh, move to the upside on gold. Uh, because there was a lot of people, a lot of traders, gold traders now trading from home. There's been a lot of confusion. Uh, there were some issues with pricing in the London exchange. So uh, don't let this move to the upside in gold trick you, okay? There is still uncertainty uh, and I think volatility is going to remain at elevated levels. But let's jump onto the charts quickly to have a look at least from a technical perspective, what we can expect. Now, on oil, we talked about this move the other day, right? I was seeing this as an ABC move to the downside. I'm still expecting more downside. And this is what we talked about last week. We talked about one, two, three, four, and five. Since wave two is um, somewhat elongated in terms of um, how long it lasted, then wave four is going to be sharp, right? We could see this uh, becoming a simple ABC. And going even up to the 30 levels or so, 31, uh, and then move lower with another fifth uh, wave to the downside, anywhere below that level. So, I mean, we have the 61 extension over here, which is at 11. But the truth is, um, with wave 5, I mean, we don't really respect any rules apart the fact that it has to close below, below uh, wave 3. So anything below 20 could be the trigger for more upside. That, of course, has to be coupled with some good news on the uh, oil price war or on the coronavirus at the same time, right? Now, don't forget that the longer term 61.8 Fibonacci extension comes to 23.74. So if we have actually seen uh, this all move to the downside ended at this level, don't be surprised either. So I would be looking on the upside, the 31, okay? Anything above 31 is bullish. Natural gas, we talked about this, uh, it was a very good opportunity actually. We talked about it two weeks ago, I think. We're looking at this one, two, three, four, and we're looking at another move to the downside, right? In the minor degree, we were talked about one, two, three, four, Actually, we we're somewhere around here or somewhere around here when we talked about we were expecting wave four and now we're looking to move lower for wave five. Now, this wave five could come um, actually in as an impulse, uh, excuse me, as an ending triangle, okay, because it's the ending of this uh, big move to the downside, okay, and could literally come in this form. Now, the other scenario, of course, would be that we've had uh, wave 5 ending down here, okay, uh, this is purely like um, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to see a 5, a very small 5 over here, okay, just to take out the previous low and then start shooting higher. I believe we're going to head lower, I believe we're going to head around 1.3 or so, where also this trend line is going to be respected on gold. We are still um, actually in a correction mode. If we look at this move to the downside, then this is A, B, uh, the B end near the 78.6 Fibonacci, and potentially we can move now lower to take out wave 4, because I talked about wave 4 being a bit, coming in a bit lower, right? Now, if we take the wave 1, um, of this primary degree uh, wave, as well as intermediate, we come to 1373. And funny enough, this is also the 50 Fibonacci retracement of this move to the upside. This is a very big level. So 
in the short and medium term i mean medium term i see this going down to 1375 and then in the long term all the way up so until the end of this year i'll be honest i see these prices holding i'm not sure we're going to see more upside that would really depend on what happens uh, with the rest of the uh, economies and the coronavirus but the 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 risk of deflation is real now which seems to suggest uh, that prices might remain under uh, pressure in the medium term on silver as well. I was just looking at this pattern uh, the other day, right? And since we broke actually below that level, uh, we we're talking about this being one and two, right? Because this looks corrective and this can easily be an impulse. Uh, however, with this, this move to the downside now down here, this became all a correction. And in my eyes, we have a triple zigzag Okay, so expect more downside. However, I'm not expecting prices to go anywhere between the uh, 8.4, okay, because this is the beginning of this uh, move to the upside. However, since we, we did the 90% uh, correction of this move, right, from there to there, any level between the 12.63 and then 8.4, I know it's a big range, can be... Uh, can be a meaningful move to the upside. Here's what I'm looking, right? With this being A, B, and C, I'm looking at this wave one, wave two, wave three, wave four, and I'm expecting another move to the downside for wave five. This wave four could potentially go up to the 16 level. However, I find this a little bit hard. Where I'm thinking this is gonna go to is the 50 Fibonacci, which is always the case, okay? So I see this maximum up to the 15.6 and then still uh, moving to the downside because it looks like we'll have another move to the downside for wave five.